What are the motor trend headlines of the day? Oh man, well, uh, obviously we're here in uh, GMC's booth, so look at the new lighter, 700 pounds lighter uh -huh. Acadia. Acura just showed off their new precision design concept. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm just trying to get a feel for the cars. <laughs> Yesterday I had a lot of interviews. Um, yeah. Heard some fun stuff from Sergio Marchionne, head of FCA. Yeah, you talked a lot about the labor issues in Canada and so forth. A little bit, you know, that's business side's kind of boring. I, I yeah, like exactly. I liked his uh, talk of succession planning. He's talking about how he's, um, you know, he's gonna he's claiming he will exit the industry end of 2018, mm -hmm. and he's already has a few guys, a few men and women he's thinking for uh, as his successor. He said he knocked him around a bit. He's been kicking him, shaking him, right. coming through the washing machine. And will they be coming from the Fiat side? Will they be coming from the Chrysler side? Good question. A yeah. uh, couple, the, the short list of candidates people are, are speculating are um, from both the American side and the Italian side. I think Mike Manley's name's been thrown mm -hmm. up there, Reed Bigland, guys like that. Uh, but the other interesting thing he said is, uh, I asked him a question about Viper. What, what's the future? And basically sounds like it's not going to... Yeah, Harper, it yeah. doesn't pencil out, but it, it could come back in a new version that's higher, even higher performance. All right, sounds good. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about, you talked about the unveil today for the uh, the Acadia, which is right next to us. Uh, Honda, with the car of the year, uh, the Civic, sure. uh, same deal. They, they take a very popular car that's done really well in sales sure. for a number of years, yep. and they pretty much go back to the drawing board and rebuild them. Right. Is there, a, is there a danger in doing that or should they just continue to tweak the car? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, you don't, especially with a car like the Civic, there's a huge base there that, mm -hmm. that likes the car for what it was. If you go too far in one direction, you run the risk of alienating those people. But if you take a look at what they've done with Civic, it's bigger on the inside. It certainly looks different on the outside, <laughs> but it's got a, a, you know, a new uh, turbocharged powertrain. That's probably the biggest change. Uh, these are things that matter to the journalists, to the car nuts, but to the average consumer, as long as it drives the same, right. you know, I think they're fine. And you pick up a car of the year kind of designation, that probably attracts some consumers also. I think so. Um, you know, for Motor Trade, it wasn't our car, it was, it was North American. Exactly. Um, but, you know, we gave like Honda CRV SUV the year last year. Right. And they ran some ads, they, you know, they promote a little bit, but they have sales leadership um, in the small SUV segment with mm -hmm. CRV. So they don't really need the awards. Honda actually does very well, and I think when you are at a level where you don't have to rely on awards, that just speaks to the strength of your of your business. All right, so let me talk about the days uh, proceeding today. Yep. Uh, I know you've been busy uh, talking to a lot of people. Um, what do you think has been the most standout thing you've seen so far this week? Oh, man. Uh, there's a lot. I think uh, Buick's Avista. I knew you were going to say that. Everybody beautiful. says that right there. You know, it, it was it was one of the. We get a lot of this information early, so there were no real surprises. Right. That was one of them. You know, the Acura concept was also a surprise. Uh, I think Honda Ridgeline coming right, back. Right. Uh, really interesting vehicle for us. Super unpopular on our website. People just love to hate on it. The true truckers, they think it's like a, it's a the joke. The Ridgeline. Yeah, the Ridge, yeah, they think the Ridgeline's a joke. This new uh, second generation one looks a lot like a real mid-sized pickup truck. I think it's going to change a lot of people's minds. That's interesting. I didn't realize people hate. There's a oh. hater club on the Ridge Oh, line. yeah. Because if you think about it, F-150 guys, right. you know, uh, Silverado guys, the Ford, the Chevy, they're going to naturally hate uh, an imported pickup truck. Right, right. And especially one that's a unibody. It's got a transversely mounted, you know, six cylinder, there's no V8 possible. Um, but who knows? I mean, this thing has, has a real, it looks like a, looks like a real bed. It doesn't have this weird flying buttress. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you never know. All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. I know you're busy. I'll let you yeah. get back to work. Awesome. Well, always keep in touch with Motor Trend. You guys are on the, the pinnacle of what we're doing out here. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.